Hi there, so what I am looking at today is a copy of an article for um, about the Nuba Dalla World Tennis Championships not inviting you and I'm just like, what? What's going on? And um, what I'm reading is the reason why they're not inviting you in 2013 or whatever, um, maybe it's 2012, actually it's still 2012. The reason they're not inviting you is because they want to focus on the youth of the ATP and um, former champions. And um, that just sounds like a whole bunch of keyword. Yeah. Um, I read that this is also um, a tournament that is owned by IMG, who recently And um, I'm just beginning to wonder about this IMG. Uh, conglomerate, so to speak, I guess you could say. It just seems like such an unbelievable um, con conflict of interest to be able to represent players and then also own events that players participate in. And I actually is not only having a conflict of interest here in the tennis world, but also in uh, the NCAA, I think. So, um, yeah, I wonder, I think, I think it's really like an important thing for you to maybe look at, maybe you're already looking at that, but I think it's something that the ATP should really look at um, as far as influence and regulation. Now, this particular event, I don't think it really matters as far as ranking and points are concerned, but Miami, I noticed you're not going to. Um, will that affect your ranking? Um, I wondered, and then I, then I saw that there's this other um, new clause that, um, I guess it's a new, it's, it's a new rule, and you're the first one to be able to benefit from it, and it's, uh, it's something along the lines of being able to participate in, uh, or to be able to opt out of one 1,000 Masters tournament and not be penalized for it and that you, you know, you have to be the age of 31 in order for that to kick in. So that's interesting and all, but I wonder if you are opting out of going to Miami this year because that's a nice rest between, uh, I think it's Wimbledon and clay season, is that right? Um, I don't know off the top of my head anymore. No, 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 no that's not right. Um, Miami is before clay season, so I just wonder, like, that's a nice time for you to take off, right? Uh, but I wonder, are you given the option to take that off, or is it because it's another IMG-owned event that you can that, that you, there's just some sort of thing going on behind the scenes, some sort of tension or whatever? And, again, I think that it's a little bit unethical, um, if any of those factors other than personal choice is affecting you because um, Miami is definitely a ranking at, at an event where you are ranked and um, I don't think that because of your personal decision to move on with someone else and end the contract or not renew a contract um, that you should be indirectly penalized and I feel like that's what's happening is a new dollar um, event in Abu Dhabi because the reasons are just uh, like nonsense so um, you know I definitely appeal to, to the ATP the board of the ATP to really start looking at, at um, just the ethics involved in that because that just doesn't that doesn't seem right and now uh, this is not really I guess not really such a, uh, an event that would really affect you or whatever I don't know if it's an exhibition I guess I'm not totally sure but um, you know but definitely Miami that I find that problematic um, overall so that's very interesting and um, I think your, your schedule, though, overall, if you've chosen it on your own, is, is very interesting. Um, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen in 2013. I'm just happy to see you, like, hugely motivated. And you want to do some more practicing, which is great. And I think that, that is basically of what I really want to talk about, but I think, you know, if you are still leading, heading, heading the way that, um, that's
that's definitely something to bring up this IMG influence um, is for me unethical um, oh and um, so now moving on to another thing I don't know if you know but well I'm sure you probably know but um, Wow, Lieber's wife apparently passed away and they've been like married for 46 years. It seems like a really, um, probably a very sad time for him, but his wife was sick for a very long time. But I'm sure you're very much so aware of that. And, um, you know, so my condolences to Rod Lieber and his family as well. Um, I clearly can tell you with experience with that, not to go off onto another tangent, but I, I, I truly don't wish that on my worst enemy for someone that just, someone so close to you to just die in your life, it is just not, it just, I don't wish it on my worst enemy, that, that experience, although it will happen to everyone at one point, but um, yeah. I'm wishing you good luck. I just wanted to come in and comment on that as well. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Have a good one. Yes, your mom and I really want to Oh, I came across <laughs> I came across these cute pictures of you and your family <laughs> that uh yeah, some stalker photographer took of you guys, but it's really cute. I'm gonna post it up if I can find the link. Yeah. Mm.